Hey, and welcome to this video. So the exciting thing about this lesson is that we'll create the actual Chrome extension. So we'll use a little bit of code, which we'll just copy and paste. And after that, you'll be able to access the extension from your own Chrome browser. So if you're excited for that, let's begin. So since we'll be using a little bit of code within this lesson, the first thing is to go ahead and install a text editor within your computer. And if you don't have one already, you can download one called Sublime Text, which is a simple text editor that you can install for Linux, Mac, and Windows. So all you have to do is to go over to sublimetext.com and then you can install it for your own system. So once you have Sublime Text installed on your system, the first thing that we want to do is to create a new file. And you can name it 72 Online's Chrome extension. And now you can go ahead and open the Sublime Text Editor. So what we want to do now is to simply open the folder that we just created. So I'll click on File, and then I'll click on Open Folder. And this is the folder that we want to open, so I'll click on Select Folder. And now we can see that we have the folder right here. So I will right click on this folder, and then we can create a new file. So we will name this file background.js like that, and then we can save it. So I'll click on file and then I'll click on save. And then just make sure that you are saving it within the Chrome extension folder that we created. So I'll click on save. Then the next file that we want to create is called manifest.json. So we'll save this one as well. And again, just ensure that you are saving it within the Chrome extension folder. So I'll click on save. Then the next file that we want to create is called popup.html. So I'll go ahead and save this one as well. And then lastly, we want to go ahead and create another file. And this one is called popup.js. And of course, I'll save this one as well. Just like that. So at the end, you're supposed to have a folder like this. And then within this folder, you're supposed to see a list of files that we have just created like that. So if your files look like this, then you are ready to move on to the next step. So right now we'll go ahead and basically copy and paste the necessary code snippets within all these files. So let's start with background.js. So here I'll simply remove this and then I will paste in this code snippet. And all these code snippets that I'll be pasting in will be accessible within the course material. So you can find them there. And then now we can move along to the manifest.json file. And then here again, I'll remove the first line and then I'll paste in this JSON data. And then I'll move to popup.html. And again, I'll remove that and paste in the code snippet like so. And lastly, we can go over to popup.js. So I'll remove that and paste it in like so. But within this file, we wanna make sure that we go ahead and insert our bubble app URL. So to find the URL, I'll simply click on preview. And then within this URL, I'll simply remove debug mode so that we're only left with version test. So this is the URL that we'll go ahead and use. So I'll copy that and I'll paste it in right here and just ensure that the URL is in between the quotation marks. So after all of this, we can go ahead and save the changes. And you'll see that the previous files that we created have this circular dot. So that means that they have not been saved. So I'll simply select the file and click on Control Save, and I'll do it for the rest of the files. And now all the edits we have made to all these files have been saved. So we can go ahead and close the text editor like so. So the next step is to create an image subfolder within our main Chrome extension folder. So once you have the Chrome extension folder open, we can go ahead and create a subfolder. So I'll click on your folder. And then we can name it images. And within this folder, we want to download a couple of images. So these are all the images that you'll need to have within the subfolder. And you can find these images within the course material. So now we get to the exciting bit where we install the Chrome extension. So I'll click on the browser menu, which is this icon right here. And then we can hover on more tools and then click on extensions. And then here you can toggle the developer mode and you'll see these buttons right here. So we can click on Load Unpacked. Now we can select on the Chrome extension folder that we just created and then click on Select Folder. 
And now you can see that we have the Chrome extension finally installed on the Chrome browser. So perhaps you may see an error message right here, but it's actually not that important. So we can go ahead and delete that and then go back. So now that we have the Chrome extension installed, you can go ahead and try it on your Twitter account. So I'll click on this and then you can scroll down to find the extension. So it's this one right here called 71 lines. So you can actually pin it like that. So let's go ahead and click on it. And just like that, my friend, you can see the Chrome extension that we have just built with Bubble. So this is pretty exciting stuff. But of course, we haven't quite reached our goal yet. We still need to go ahead and develop this further in order to allow the Chrome extension to communicate with our Bubble app. So all that and more in the next lesson.